Howdy fellow YouTubers. So this one's in collaboration with Prepare for Emergency at prepareforemergency.com. You can also go to uh, our website at ogwild.com. Uh, but if you're checking this out on uh, on YouTube, uh, feel free to add any comments or anything on the uh, on the video. Uh, always go for uh, for shares and likes and, and uh, definitely subscribe. So this one, uh, I got my uh, cast iron pot and I'm going to try out some soup. I got to get it on here right away because it's already 2.30 in the afternoon and uh, this takes a few hours to cook. So uh, this is souping it up. It's a dehydrated uh, soup pack which is really neat. Uh, I'll throw the um, website on the, on, the, uh, on the video for us here but uh, soupingitup.ca that's what it is. So this one's a hearty minestrone. Uh, directions add uh, packages, add contents of package. Uh, one can of tomatoes, green beans, uh, eight cups of water, slow cooker, cook uh, six to eight hours, uh, add your meat. So um, I don't have everything in here. I'm just going to throw in, I got some, some roast that I smoked up. I got my can of tomatoes and throw this in here. So I'm going to add some water. Uh, I'm going to grab that. Uh, this is another video that we got on here, the, uh, the Tim Hortons uh, coffee box. So this is one of our prepper's tips. So definitely check that one out. Not saying I'm going to have a precise measurement here, but I'm thinking that's going to be lots for me. All right. Whoa, these zip ties. Contents of package in there. That's damaged on the top. We had lots of time to prepare the, uh, making sure we had all the tools and everything. So, diced up tomatoes. Oh, I'm making looks at that already. And we throw in some meat. I'm largely carnivore, so I gotta have meat. I think why it's the same way. You gotta have meat. Yeah. Gotta have meat. Vegetables are what food eats. <laughs> That's right. Got to balance out the protein, but... I'm definitely going to have my, uh, my share of nutrients to get me through this night. It's important to make sure you have enough food in your system because all that energy gets converted into making sure your core temperature stays warm overnight. Fancy stir stick. And there we go. Ready for the fire. Okay, so here we go. I got soup. It's in the pot. It's ready to put on the fire. So, uh, boy, I had a pretty good idea. I managed to get a old shopping cart and cut the sh shopping cart out. So now we got a, a grill to set my pot on. Gotta keep that over the fire. Throw my lid on. Voila! And I had time to check on the soup. Oh, look at that! If you can see it through the steam, we got a royal and boil. Gonna be some good stuff. All right, I think I got my soup done. I didn't leave it on for uh, for six to eight hours, that's for sure, because it uh, seems to cook a little bit faster over the open fire. But I'm losing my sunlight here, so uh, I want you guys to have a look at this while uh, while we're still going. I'm gonna leave that on my tailgate, that's for sure. So it looks like we got some really nice soup going on. Sure sticks to the cast iron pot, that's for sure. But it looks like everything cooked out really nice. It almost looks like a chili. It looks really good. So for 
quick, uh, easy to carry survival food. You can even dehydrate the meat. Because once you dehydrate it, of course, it's going to be a lot lighter and easier to pack. So, but check this out. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully, you can see that. I'm going to eat it straight out of the cup. See how much I can get into the cup. Oh, yeah, we're going to spill. This is going to be nice. Nice hot meal. There we go. Mike's going to miss out on this one. That's too bad. So there it is. Whoops. Oh, oh dog's going to get it. So There it is. Soup in a cup. Soup in a cup dot. Or not soup in a cup. Soup in it up. Dot .ca. That's where you can get these things. And they're uh, nice, light, easy to pack. Yep. Good. I guess it wouldn't be the same if I... Uh... Am I still on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sat down. Right? So, coming at you across from the fire. That'd be a good idea once I get it all cooked up. You're not going to believe me if, I, uh, if you don't actually see me eating it. It actually worked out pretty good in that short period of time. It only cooked in about half the time over the open fire. The beans are still a little bit undercooked, but I mean, definitely, uh, definitely usable. Still good. Very hot, but just awesome. Like the seasoning and everything on it is just perfect. Of course, I'm using my makeshift survival spoon. But yeah, really good. The meat's all cooked up. Uh, vegetables mixed right in. It's it's very thick, very hearty, and definitely going to get your energy going for the day. So. Definitely worth uh, worth investing in these guys. So soupinitup.ca. Head over to the website and uh, and uh, grab yourself some. They're a, they're a perfect little lightweight uh, meal packet to throw in your uh, in your bug out bag. So cheers, everybody. We'll talk to you again.